We want you to be the best that you can be. So how do we do that? Well, it's true that you can have one-to-one -one interviews about all manner of issues, including careers, with progress coaches. And the work that we do as a department runs alongside that and supports those interactions. One of the main ways we do that is via careers events. So whether you are a health and social care student, where we have a careers event in the late autumn, um, typically where you get opportunities to speak to a range of employers. Or if you're not um, a health and social care student, but you are interested, for example, in apprenticeships, then in January, we will have our typically our annual apprenticeship careers event. Now, in that event, you get to meet a whole host of organizations asking relevant questions about what is it like to be on an apprenticeship? How do you get into it? Uh, what are the qualifications you require and what are the progression routes afterwards or any other matter that comes across your mind that you'd like to ask them? Now, of course, apprenticeships aren't right for everybody. Some of you, for example, might be thinking about just jobs in a more general sense at this stage. So in March, we do have a more general type of careers event we typically refer to as our annual progression event. Now in that event, there are many more organizations, but once again, there may be some from apprenticeships, there may be professional bodies, or there may even be businesses. And the businesses might be small, local affairs, or they may be national, and we even have some international. So we aim to try and give you a broad cross-section of the type of people that you may one day like to work with. And of course, you can ask them as individuals, what's it like doing your job? How did you get there? What qualifications do you need? Or you can ask them about the company, or you could even ask them about the industry as a whole. Once again, it will depend on the individual needs that you have and the kind of questions that you think up. But those people are there expecting you to approach them and they're more than happy to give you their expert opinions. Now, a lot of you may be interested in higher education, university. For you people, we do a range of different activities. One is back in the autumn term, so your first term with us. Over a fortnight, we will have different universities in each day, and you can go and approach them and talk to them about what it's like in their university or just in university as a whole. At the other end of your first year, in year one, then we have a summer term HE UCAS event. Now, typically this runs locally at somewhere like Anglia Ruskin University. What happens? Well, the whole of the first year can go along. And when you get there, you will find that there will be representatives from all of the universities across the country. And they will be eager to talk to you um, about their universities, what courses they offer, and you can go along to that. Now, in the week that that happens, we call it Progression Week. We'll also be running an event for parents of year one students called After Long Road, where we host somewhere in the region of about 60 different workshops. Yes, that was 60, six zero. Uh, you can come along to those and find out what it is um, that's on offer for your sons and daughters for the future and the kind of support that we will offer as a college. In addition to that, in Progression Week, we also have a number of bespoke lessons that are put on during the week by subjects uh, where they invite in guest speakers um, or undertake activities or maybe even go on trips out to organisations. The whole purpose of the week is to just get you to reflect as you near the end of year one about the subjects that you're studying and where they may take you in the future. Okay, so it's all about trying to get you to revisit, think those ideas and do all you can to prepare. Then as you go through to year two, your final year, those applying to university will be well and truly into applications, um, having presumably done a number of visits to universities uh, on their open days over the summer holidays. And our progress coaches will be there to help you in completing all of the online material um, to put your applications in. Now, that's not all we do as a department in the progression department. So now what I'd like to do is introduce you to a couple of my colleagues and they'll explain some of the things that they're involved with as well. Hello, my name 
name is Emma and I'm a careers assistant at Long Road. Part of my role is to help maintain links between the college and its external partners. Some of these partners are businesses in the area, others are specialist organisations that help link the college with new opportunities. One of our external partners is Career Ready. They work specifically with some of our science students to help them find out about different STEM opportunities. These students get to visit a range of employers, find out about their day-to-day -day runnings and career opportunities for the future. They also take part in a number of masterclasses. These include mock interviews where students are interviewed by real-life employers and they find out about different progression routes as well as improving their interview techniques. I would now like to pass you over to my colleague Eloise, who is our Work Experience Coordinator. Hi there, my name is Eloise and I am the Work Experience Coordinator here at Long Road. In this role, I help students find their own work experience placements. So these placements could be part of a course that they're already studying, such as health and social care, business and sport, or it might just be that the student is studying another qualification and is looking for some independent work experience to build on their transferable skills and boost their CV. So in all of these cases, I offer support materials and I can also recommend appropriate companies that the students can approach. In addition to work experience placements, I also overlook the department's online platforms. So I help to run the careers blog and also publish the careers emag online. So these offer lots of work opportunities, university links, as well as any other links to really useful careers materials. We've got really good feedback from both students and parents for these, and we really hope that you enjoy them too.